Good afternoon, everybody. As we are going to discuss this program today, we'll to do also with this engagement, and uh, we'll try to add some more details. As understood, that some people were depressed from the last things, clearly showing among the curses, this disengagement. But we see just now that really is very good continuation to these verses, blessings in the future. But what I would like to emphasize, even though unfortunately this engagement comes clearly in the Torah and the dates, we see later on the exact dates, which we found only a few months ago, exactly the dates, Yud Av and Yud Bet Av, we see in the next table, everything also in the right places, which suits the situation, as we saw. This should strengthen our faith, belief in Hashem. This is the purpose of all these troubles. We know quite well that the reason that so many troubles happen to Jews on Tisha B'Av is to strengthen our emuna. And I brought the famous story about the expulsion of Gerus Sfarad, when Jews were expelled from Sfarad, from Spain, it was in the Tisha B'Av, it means the, that time it was Ferdinand and Isabella, and they really, without intention, gave the date for Jews to go out the country, in Tisha B'Av, it happened exactly on Tisha B'Av. They did not know that it is Tisha B'Av. And as many people said, if they would know, they would not do it, because it strengthens so much their faith, their menu, because they look quite well. Because Shbohu said in the past, because of the spies, Jews cried for nothing, and they are going to cry all over history on this day. So a lot of crying, unfortunately, yesterday on Tisha B'Av, a lot of crying. And this kind should strengthen our emunah. Let us think that from all the six or 365 days in the year, somehow this disengagement, this itnatut, came out on Tisha B'Av. So we know quite well that this is what our sages told us, and we should be really happy from one side, that God did not leave us, because, as we know quite well, the Christians and others claim that God has left us. Now what is the proof that God did not? Because still, we have so many troubles, so many things which cannot be explained naturally, which shows that Kosh Baruch Hu is still interesting in us. Like the Gemara brings the story about the Kai, the person who said, that you Jews, what you are carrying on serving God? He left you. So what the rabbi answered, he said, look, if a master does not like his slave, so he sends him away. And this slave will enjoy himself, will do everything that he wants, nobody will disturb him. But if we see that after the slaves he sent away, still he, the master runs after him, hit him and punishes him for what he did, he understands that apparently he wants him to come back. So we have to see things which are happening to us in such a way. And if it happened on Tisha B'Av, this expulsion, and if so much crying on this day happened in Katif, so we should remember what the Medrash says. The Medrash says clearly, because of this crying for nothing in the past, it will be all over Easter crying for something. Okay, we don't understand why and what and what is Kodesh Baruch what God accounts, what he really planned to do, but no doubt that it will bring to something good as we will see later on in the table as the continuation of these verses dealing with this engagement bring a lot of blessings afterwards. Now let us go now and see how really in Atkut this engagement comes and let us see also the verses, what the verses say, and we'll see really that is a lot of comfort for us 
also in this Sukim. Now here, I'm to you just now you can see everything coming out here. I point out that in Atkut start from this letter, hey, in Atkut, and clearly written before Asher Azvu et Brit Hashem Elokei Avotam. Asher Karatimam. You can see clearly written because they forsake the covenant. Now, we have to understand and to believe that apparently things which are happening have a reason. We know that all Israel, all Israel are Ravim. We know Zeba Zeh, as is written. So every Jew is guarantor, is responsible for his fellow men. So unfortunately, because so many Jews forsook God, left God, they don't help Torah, as we say, the Midrash, we wrote the Midrash from Mecha, that really cities and settlements are uprooted from Israel because of not helping Torah, as we mentioned, the Midrash and Echa. So here we see clearly the place that this engagement in Atkut comes exactly because they forsake the covenant of God, the Hazer. Now, what we have to think, apparently, we have to strengthen ourselves. We have to do something for our fellow men to see that the Torah will be kept. Now, when we go further in Natkut, so we have the word Shoah, which is really Holocaust. Now, many people don't like the comparison between Katif and Holocaust, but what is Holocaust? What is Shoah? We have to take the word Shoah, which appears in the Bible, in the Tanakh. Shoah really has to do with something which a man, when a man sees this kind of destruction, he is amazed because Shoah comes from the word Ishtaut. When you see something that you cannot understand against logic, it means illogical things which are happening, something which was really blooming, growing so beautifully, suddenly turned to be destruction. This is really the expression of the word Shoah. No, not speaking about the Holocaust in Germany, yeah? but the word Shoah. Now that the word Shoah appears here, Shoah, the minimal letter skip of the old Torah, Shin Vab Aleph A, unbelievable, the minimal letter skip. So it shows that this kind of disengagement is kind of Shoah to people, because this is what happened to these people. So much crying yesterday, we saw, unfortunately, Mamesh, the expressions of these people, faces, words, what they said, Mamesh, like people uh, felt in the Holocaust. But again, Shoah is a word for exactly this kind of disengagement when something which was blooming and, and, and really growing so beautifully, so successfully, and suddenly, one day, everything was destroyed. This is the word Shoah. Also, we have to know that as these words appeared in the Tochecha, in the curses, it might reflect the Holocaust in German also, yeah? So Shoah in this place also happened in the curses, because no doubt that this expression, these verses, fits very much the Holocaust in Germany. But Inatkut came here. Now, again, Inatkut, and this is the tough, in the verse which says, when a sachtem in Haaretz, you will be uprooted me'aladama, from the ground, from the earth, asher atabashama lerishta, where you are coming to inherit. Clearly indicating the tough of Inatkut. Showing you that if you leave the covenant with God, if you don't help your people really to keep Torah, this is our responsibility. Yet, unfortunately, difficult to say, a lot of demonstrations at the time, but when the desecration of Shabbat happens, when all kinds of abortions and all these terrible things against Torah, against God, did we really protest in such a way? We have to think about it. Somehow, maybe, or something wrong. Maybe this is what God wants to tell us. Look, now you feel what it means.
to live such wonderful place full of Torah, yeshivot, and knesiyot, batei knesiyot, synagogues. Why did not think about me? Why did not think about this Misada Zatot, for example? It was really, unfortunately, <laughs> destroyed, whatever you will call it, but Mamesh, Rabbi's institution of Torah did not get money. This also kind of destruction. So there were some parties, religious parties, which could do much more. Who brought Lapid? All the troubles started when Lapid came to the government. We see just now that the disengagement is directly connected with Lapid and Shinui coming to the government, clearly indicated to it. But now look what he's written here more. Maybe this I said about Lo Netanyahu, somehow I couldn't understand what it says, Lo Netanyahu, but then what happened a few days ago that he resigned, so we understand that somehow he's not so connected with the disengagement which takes place now. Who knows, maybe there are some other indications, but the results of this engagement, when it's Fachat el the Torah says you will be afraid night and day, Katyushas, all these things which are going bombs, which are Chaz Shalom endangering us, threatening us. Now, something which really I felt, you know, when I heard even today, everything here in the radio, that from all over the world, friends, England, all over the world, there are correspondents, journalists, which coming really to see what was going on. Yeah, all over, Mamesh, <laughs> thousands of journalists, all over the world, coming to see what is going on. So then I saw this verse, and I understood there is some connection. It's written here, you can see, Anochri asher ba me'eretz rechoka zos nanjus, which are coming from far away country, and they see the smitings of this land, and then they said definitely what was going on. This is a continuation of the verse. Why God was so cross with these people? Yeah, they see what is going on. And then they themselves somehow say that the reason you can see it down here, Asher Azvu et Brit Eloke Avotam. The Goim will say, the Goim, the non Jews, unfortunately, this was the Christian's claim. The Christians say that all the troubles coming to us, because not accepting their belief, right? But we know quite well that this is because we don't keep the Brit of Hashem. Now look what is written here. Clearly, what the Goyim say. Ve'amru kol ha-Goyim, all the Goyim said, why God did to us, to, to these people, why he did to these people, all these things, the Hazot. Why God is so cross with them, right? So, something else which I think we have to take into consideration that the old world, all world is a state. The news started with the disengagement. Everyone one, one wants to know. And the old going coming, and this is what is written there. That the going, we see what is going on, and we say, what is going on? Machoria af. What is this anger? Machori af agadol aze ve'amar and then say because they left. Chazal shalom God. Yeah, but we have to think about it. The fact that this engagement came in this psukim, no doubt, come to tell us what we should do. We should strengthen ourselves. We should keep the covenant. We should worry our fellow men not to support Chazal shalom this. Government which fights Torah, unfortunately we know quite well who was this one who helped this government to come on. They regret it now, they admit that they did something wrong, but clearly we see that this is the reason for the disengagement. Leaving Torah with Nisach it's unbelievable that from all Torah it came, exact, it came exactly in these curses which describe the situation. And the word Nisachtem, unbelievable. He was looking Rashi. When Nisachtem, Rashi said, when Nisachtem will be uprooted. Akira, Lashon Akira. Exactly. The, this is what Rashi said. When Nisachtem, Lashon Akira. What the Medra says. 
Now, here I found something which might be a little bit frightening because it shows here the Tav Shin Samech Vav. Yeah, we see in the other, in the other, we see Tav Shin Samech Hei clearly coming out, but here we see Tav Shin Samech Vav. You can see Samech, Tav Shin Samech in the Vav. And here also, La Shmid Atchem Chaz V'Shalom. So it looked like, I hope that will not come, but who knows? Maybe it's indication that this disengagement will carry on, like Paris said today, as already the Arabs want, and even the state said, it is only the beginning. Who knows if this is not an indication that the disengagement is, co- is going to carry on and to endanger Israel in Tavshin Samech Okay, so this is something